what's up? I'm Christiana Catherine. These are my puppies. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, Cash No, come here. <laughs> so for today's video, I know it's been kind of old and it's already been done, but I really wanted to do the trend of my dogs or my pets choose my makeup. So these are my three boys. This is Jack Miller, this is Tommy Lee, and this is Johnny Cash. So these are my three boys. Jack is a golden retriever lab mix. Tommy is a Kelpie mix and Cash. Oh God, it's a circus. Cash move. Cash. Cash is a AKC registered Doberman. So Jack's my old boy. And so he will stay here with me in the intro. So we are going to attempt to get them to choose my makeup lord willing so if you would like to see my three boys choose my makeup then keep on watching okay you two come here okay i'm giving them three options for foundation the l'oreal infallible pro matte in classic ivory my wet and wild photo focus in porcelain and And my Milani in ivory, and then the Maybelline Fit Me in probably ivory or some porcelain. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, God. Hey, come here. This is working out great. <laughs> Choose one of these. Which one? Choose one. Choose one. I think that's a winner. Tommy likes that okay. one too. All right, go boys. Okay, you've got four options for concealer. What are the options? So I have the Makeup Revolution. I haven't even tried this yet. So in C1, we have the No Filter in their Fair Double Zero. This is ColourPop Fair 02. And then of course the Iconic Purchase in Fair. You can't choose yet. Okay, well, he chose the Makeup Revolution for the very first one. Stop it. There's only two setting powder options. My favorite, the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair. And then the new, well, I guess it's not really new anymore. New to me, the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I actually really like both of these. Three, catch, sit. Sit. Stay. No, ah, 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 ah. ColourPop no filter, which is fine. So you have three options for bronzer. We have the Morphe 8H Hula bronzer, and then the ColourPop bronzer. <laughs> Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Okay. Good boy, Tommy. Cash, get your head out of the way. Oh, good boy. We chose the Milan Tea Rock. And because you know that one's favorite. But I just can't really talk about it. Okay, we have the Milan Tea Rock. Two options for contour, the wet and wild no saving leche. And then I literally just bought this. So this is the Maybelline Master Contour. That was a face. Now get one. Come on. Choose one. Come on. 
Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, Which ones do we have? Oh, sorry. We have Roller Lash, Iconic, and my most favorite, um, what is this? My most favorite mascara, the Rimmel Scandal. <laughs> you can't have this. Um, this is my most favorite mascara of all time. It's Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Anastasia Dip Brow and Blonde, and then I just bought this today, and I'm a little scared by it because it looks 20 shades too dark. But it's just like Elf Dip Brow. No. Put the shot. Okay, can I not shoes? Grab one. Oh, good boy! Good boy, John Cat! Good boy! We are going to choose. Which ones? Okay. First, we have the Morphe Dear 2 Creepy palette, the 39A. Oh, yeah. Then we have the iconic James Charles palette. Back it up. We have the Zulu palette by Julie's Place. Fifth. We have the Desert Oasis palette by BH Cosmetics that I have not tried yet. And we have Life's a Drag by Luna Beauty. Okay, go pick one. Okay. Cash. Go catch. Cash. Try cash. Hey. Cash. Go pick one. Try to pick one. Oh, look at that. Jesus. Look at that. Our boy knows. Even though I love all these, I honestly can't pick that either way. <laughs> okay, now we're going to choose the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Palette. Oh, the dog picked it. Infallible Pro Matte in Classic Ivory, which I really don't mind. I love this foundation. 
finished it and there's nothing left. Great. You know what that means. Do the broke girl trick. Cut that bitch off. And you scrape what's left inside. Okay, so he chose this, which is cool. I really do love this foundation. It stays on all day. So like I'm in school and whenever I was having to work and go to school, I mean, I still do that, but like working retail is a lot different than my job now, thank God. Um, because I have like a eight to four job and not any time Nike would tell me to work. So I was literally having to wear makeup for like 12 to 14 hours a day, which is disgusting, but um, it's what I had to do. And I wore this foundation and um, it's bomb. It stays on all day long. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe sponge and pounce it out. Then, they chose the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I am so excited to try this because everybody says that this is like a dupe for Shape Tape. And let me tell you what, my broke girls, we need a dupe for Shape Tape because I hate paying that much for it sometimes because I'd like to eat. It doesn't smell very good. And that is not <laughs> <laughs> Got the wrong color. Oh well, we'll lift. Makeup Revolution. Okay, and then they chose the ColourPop. What is this? The No Filter Setting Powder. This is my second time using this ever. First time I didn't mind it. It was actually pretty nice. Now I'm gonna go in with my brows and this. I love my dogs. Oh, I love my dogs because they chose my ABH dip brow, <laughs> not that elf dip brow. That was like three shades too dark. Saved me on that one. Okay, we're going in with this Morphe M573 and we are going to dip into Pinkity Drinkity, which is this light pink right here. We are going to use that as kind of our transition. I really want to go in with Skip. That very bright pink is just speaking to me today or tonight. It is like 11:30 at night. So we have that on right there. It's a nice little light transition kind of color. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this brush. It's very tiny. It is the M514. It's very small and I've already dipped in to skip, which is that very bright pink in the palette. I'm not even gonna worry about showing you because it's hard to miss. And I'm going to put these in my outer V. And I'm gonna do a cute little halo eye. So I'm gonna put this in my right here and blend it into the crease leaving that little circle right there because we're going to go in with a cute little shimmer moment all right and then i'm just going to go back in with pinkity trinkity and we're going to buff this out some that way it has a nice blend you know, not harsh tiniest bit of love that which is right next to pinkity drink me and I'm just going to tap this in just on the outer corners just to deepen those just a hair not a lot and I'm kind of going back and forth between love that and skip just so I don't lose really skip in there, but it darkens it just enough for that outer V. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go in with that same brush since it is small enough, and I'm just going to put skip all underneath my lower lash line. Okay. 
This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get Mary. Our flashback, sorry, that white. And I'm gonna press that in the center because I don't like what was happening before. I'm gonna cut out this center to make it a very true halo eye now. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta roll with the punches and sometimes something better comes afterwards. And we're gonna see, if not, <laughs> So now I'm going to dip into flashback that pure white. I'm gonna put this on there. And with that pink brush, and I'm gonna get skip, and I'm going to blend out these edges, cause girl, they are rough. I used a little bit of um, love that, that darker pink. Sometimes you need just a deeper color to really fix that line. And go back into flashback. I'm just gonna hit those edges a little bit. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Boom, I feel like that's a lot prettier. Okay, I'm gonna take my little detailing brush and I'm gonna dip into Spooky since um, I didn't have a black eyeliner. I'm just going to make a smoky one out of eyeshadow and I'm just going to line just the top of my eyes. I like that. I'll put this in my waterline. Open up these eyes. I'm gonna finish up the face a little bit. So Cash chose, thank God, my usual bronzer and contour. It's a little scared. Cause these are my favorite. Eyeshadow falls out so bad. The usual Morphe HH palette to go in and bronze. I'm going to go in with my bronzer brush from, from Elf into my Wet n Wild contour. go into blush and I love this blush it is the Milani in T Rose I love Milani's blushes they are so good so pigmented they go on so easy and they blend so again I'm gonna put that blush all the way up into my under eye because I just like to do it we're going to go in and we're going to highlight my most favorite. And Cash chose the Wet n Wild highlighters, which is really awesome because these are a super duper affordable highlighter. I think they're like $5 a piece and they are so blinding and so pigmented. I, I mean, I love them. I have them in a ton of different colors. Y'all know I love for color highlights. So since these eyes are pink, we're going to go with the pink one. Um, this will literally blind anybody who looks too close. Wait. I'm sorry, excuse me? Who are you coming for? Green. 
I'm just gonna go in the same thing. Yes, I lick my pencil brush. Sue me. Okay. So highlight is done. Yay! I'm just gonna pop on some lashes real quick. Snatched. I am so excited because Cash chose my favorite mascara of all time, and like I always say, the most underrated drugstore mascara out there the Rimmel Scandal Eyes I've literally been using this since sixth grade and I'm like 21 now so that's like a long time okay especially for me to keep something because I literally buy so much makeup like it's almost scary the amount of makeup that I buy or I guess I should say my dad buys because it's his money <laughs> Okay, so I just pop on a little bit just to mix my lashes with the false lashes. And then we're going to go in and do the bottom ones. Okay, we're finally to the last step. So, Johnny Cash chose this lip, Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop. And this says it's Petite 4, but I thought it was Marshmallow. I don't know. I haven't really worn it, to be honest. Just because it sat in the closet and I forgot about it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not afraid to wear colored lips or whatever. I wear black lipstick, so. It's more. Um, it is so comfortable. It is so much more comfortable than the ultra matte lips that they have. This is the ultra satin. And I know that I bought this by accident because I've never bought satin lips. They're not my, well at least I thought they weren't going to be for me, but this is so comfortable. Like I, when it comes to matte lipsticks, I'm not going to lie, my most favorite one is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They are just so comfortable. They last forever. And I've tried the ColourPop ones before his and they are really good. They're just not the most comfortable but they're six bucks so it's like okay i'll trade some comfortability for some money you know what i mean it's like you gotta choose and i'm not saying that i hate the matte ones i'm just saying that this is a lot more comfortable and i i love it i i, I love this color it came out a lot more blue than what i thought i don't know if i said that before so i kind of wish i would have gone with the blue line instead of the pink but I'm living for the pink fantasy. I don't ever wear pink that much and I'm loving it. You know what? My, my dogs picked my makeup and they didn't really sabotage me that bad. So I'm happy. All right guys, so that's it. That's the final look. Um, my dogs chose my makeup and they didn't choose badly. So look at me being a good mom, teaching them the right way. Oh. So, um, all together, I'm really happy with the look came out. Like I said, the lip was a little bit more blue than what it was right here on my wrist whenever I was messing with it. So it doesn't completely match with the eye, but you know what? This video is for fun. My dogs chose this and I'm actually really happy that they chose this lipstick because I completely forgot about it and I've never worn it and I don't know why. It just ended up whenever I moved into my storage makeup and into the closet. So. I'm really excited because I plan on wearing this a lot more now, so props to that. Um, he chose the James Charles palette. I know I've done a lot of looks with it already, but um, there's another one for you. Of course, I'm going to say the same thing like I have done every time I've used it. It's great. I recommend it. I know it's like completely sold out everywhere pretty much, I think, um, but when it comes out, if you're on the fence, I'm here to tell you, don't be. Just go for it. Um, he chose my usual contour and bronzing, the Morphe and the Wet n Wild. I've always loved these, my favorite. I... So this is the second time today that I've actually used this powder. I filmed a full face using ColourPop and I don't know about this yet. I'm going to have to use it a couple more times. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know yet. I'm still on the fence with this setting powder. I don't hate it, but I'm not loving it. So I don't know if I'm gonna eventually hate it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So right now I'm saying that I'm on the fence with this and you will definitely see some more final thoughts in some other videos. So definitely keep a lookout if you're thinking about buying it. It's not very expensive. So 
if you want to buy it to try it it's not going to be that big of a deal um he chose my normal brow product which i was thanking god for because i hate i just this is my brows right here anastasia dip brow not going to change it um foundation i love this foundation told y'all i've used this for years love it um the blush i love this i wear it all the time milani's everything i swear is so good i love that brand and i used the makeup revolution concealer for the first time and i honestly loved it like i feel like i am wearing shape tape like people aren't kidding when they say this is like a dupe and it's only seven dollars like hello so i was happy overall my puppies that i love so very much did such a great job my little jack miller my johnny cash and my tommy lean they're my favorites and if you didn't know um i'm obsessed with johnny cash and that is the name of all of his brothers if you want to see it go to my insta story and speaking of insta stories if you'd like to follow me outside of my youtube channel you can follow me on instagram or twitter my instagram is christian underscore katherine my twitter is c katherine kelly i am not on the trash app snapchat i will never be on there and that's the end of that don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button if you would like to see my videos hit that notification bell you know that may not work but why not just click it for funsies so thank you so much for watching i can't wait to see you in the next one i love you i love you i love you